Hello, and welcome to Thrilled to Build. Today we're going to be looking at the Ice Planet ISAT-5 mobile rocket truck. This was their mobile rocket launching platform, and you did not want to see this thing rumbling towards you. It had eight wheels and featured a magnetic crane that could pick the rocket back up after it had been deployed. It also had a 2x2 two two tile on top with the Ice Planet symbol on it. The crane arm was also cleverly designed that it could swing back around and sit on front of the cab. This way, when the rocket was ready to be deployed, it was out of the way. I'll show you the vehicle in its deployment configuration in a few. Let's take a look at the cab a little bit closer. As you can see, the cab featured not one, but two of the Ice Planet control panel tiles. These tiles were used exclusively for Ice Planet until they appeared four years later on another set. To this day, they've only been used on three sets outside from the Ice Planet series, so they're very uncommon elements. The cab also has the classic steering wheel, which has been in production for 40 years. Hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> and it's all enclosed with a translucent orange helicopter canopy, which, by the way, is a no longer made element. But it did fit together quite nicely for its time. This set comes with a normal Ice Planet minifigure. This is the other set in the series, aside from the Blizzard Baron, that came with a blue chainsaw body. With his chainsaw in hand, his skis below the knees, he's ready to tackle the endless Arctic. Let's help him deploy his rocket now. Here we are at the back of the ISAT-5. The satellite is carried on the back of the truck and must be installed prior to launch. The Ice Planet Soldier already did that for us. You see we have the rocket tilted to the vertical position and unlocked. It's held to the truck using these translucent orange hinge panels. These elements just came out in 1990, so they were still pretty new back then. They stopped making them back in 2004, unfortunately, but they were still pretty cool and pretty useful panels. They have the little arrow elements on them. These were really cool sets. They only had two small flaws that I found. I'll show you right here in a close-up. One being the canopy for the cab and the crane were held on with an inverted slope. So it only had four studs attaching it, and occasionally it would tend to detach if you played with it a whole lot. The other one was where you got the minifigure off of the seated position. The 3x6 wedge where the control panels are likes to come off with him as well. Aside from that, it's a really fun set to play with, and probably one of my very favorite Ice Planet sets. I hope you've enjoyed my review here on Thrilled to Build, and if you have, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see my other videos.